the important thing to understand about Denmark is that uh, there are certain things that are not replicable uh, elsewhere about the Danish experience. And the other thing you need to understand is that there are uh, tremendous costs involved with uh, producing th that amount of electricity uh, as uh, wind energy. We, we can learn that uh, Denmark isn't a good model for any other nation that's looking at wind power. Even though we generate the equivalent of 20% of our consumption, we don't use it. Uh, the amount of wind energy that we consume is more like 10%, and sometimes it's as little as 5%. The discrepancy is the electricity that is produced by wind, but which we can't actually consume in Denmark. For, for the very large amount of the time when we're generating wind energy, we can't consume it. So we must uh, either spill it or export it, and we export it, of course. The problem with that is that Danish consumers pay a 50% premium over the sort of market price of what electricity actually costs to produce the electricity by wind. And that very same electricity that is then exported, most often at uh, rock bottom prices. It's, it, it's better to export and get some money than get no money at all. But uh, of course we invariably export it at a lower price than uh, we paid for it. So you, you need that kind of storage uh, capacity to expand wind production to, to the levels that you have in Denmark. And even with, with that, we, we, we can still only consume half of the electricity we produce. Creating that kind of storage capacity is extremely costly and uh, frankly uh, needs to take new technologies into use that haven't been used or haven't been costed. And, uh, you need a, a, a plan that is, uh, that is not directly transferable from, from, from Denmark to the U.S. experience. It has spent a huge amount of money uh, to build wind with the sole purpose of uh, reducing CO2 emissions and dependence on coal. The average cost of reducing CO2 is $125 um, over the last eight years, whereas um, per ton, that is. Uh, whereas the, uh, the world cost of reducing CO2 in the energy trading system has been more like um, $15. $15, yes. So Danish consumers are getting, electricity consumers are getting a very, very bad deal. Um, the other issue here is uh, that this system, uh, even if you want to, re to uh, duplicate it, uh, can't be duplicated in other countries because it's very specific factors that makes it possible to export the electricity. Where would the US export the electricity to? Canada? Well, yeah, maybe Mexico, I don't know. So it's simply not true that we are a 20% wind energy nation and it would be most unwise to draw any conclusions about what the United States can do based on the Danish experience.